You could cut this with your Cricut and do a print thin cut and have it cut, but it didn't really need to be close to the lines and I didn't really want to do these thin little cuts around these little leaves. I thought it'd be easier, easier for myself to just cut a nice simple square and that'll be easier to stick on my pieces. This will go on a glass sphere core container which will hold a candle. So this is the glass it'll go on and then I have a candle that'll go on side and that will be on the outside of the glass there. And then this will be for my guest book so people know how to do that and I'll just put this on a clear piece of acrylic that I'm going to cut and then stick on a small easel. So I'm just going to cut these instead of having Cricut cut them for me and that way I don't waste some of this paper because I'm able to cut all the way around. I could have filled in some more here, but I thought of that too late, but that's okay. Um, if you don't want to do the hand cutting, you could cut it with Cricut though. to cut my acrylic but I'll just peel that backing off and sl slap it right on. I've placed two just boxes on my glass so it doesn't slide around. They keep it in place there. Now we'll peel off our backing. Looks good. You do lose a little bit of that pink flower just with the clear. Is what our candle looks like all finished. I got a little excited and didn't go slow so it's a little crooked but I think it still looks good. I like how flowers and everything look. If you... It's a little hard to see but I'm going to curve into my candle the names of those that have passed. I'm just using the mechanical pencil, no lead or anything is out. And then I'll go back through and make it just a little bit deeper. Now we're going to see how using a little bit of this metallic rose cord and painting it on looks to make them show up a little bit better.
this one needs to go just a little bit deeper. So I might go back and engrave a little bit more on that so it soaks up the paint a little bit more. And I'll take a wet cloth and kind of get any of those extras. There we go. And if you get like this, I did two lines for the A because I couldn't see it. It's a candle. And just scrape it off. I decided it was too difficult to see my saying with the clear, so I am painting the back uh, this light pink. It'll actually help my light pink flowers show up better, and I did this technique to my other signs, so they're all matching now as well. I hope you enjoyed this. I ended up putting the names in vinyl instead of the engraved candle because it just was hard to see, but I like how they turned out. And think, don't forget, if you'd like to give Chloe a treat, you can do so down below. Also, please like and subscribe. It really helps my channel. Thanks, happy crafting, and don't forget to visit knfdesign.com.